clearly my sack truck is not man enough for the task. So, uh, plan B. But don't forget, as you're manhandling and lifting it around, oil is going to piss out all over the floor. Right, well, obviously I couldn't resist once I got the motor out to try and have a look. So, uh, side on. Obviously, drive shaft's going to come through there. And uh, it's almost in line. I uh, can probably see better from this side. If we go over it like that. There you go, you can just see there where the drive shaft comes out, and obviously drive shaft's going through there. So that's kind of in line that way. Uh, so we're going to have issues with the steering rack, aren't we? Unless I can shuffle the motor over that way a bit. Uh, now the front of the subframe obviously is going to have to be uh, completely redone but width wise, width wise we're okay so that's good news uh, and this is uh, pump sorry a bit out of breath for the uh, like the air conditioning and and whatnot coolant uh, the refrigerant goes through and cools everything so I mean that's not the end of the world obviously being electric I can relocate that so not too worried about that so front looks good obviously got to do the summit with the subframe width ways looks good my only concern at the moment is with the steering rack and uh, where this sticks out at the back here um, so next stage would be to remove that, remove that pump and then remove the front section of the subframe and then jack it up and see where we are don't forget if you want to see what's going on like share and subscribe so uh, just going to go upside down a bit here we go front sub frame uh, cross member is being cut out and um, as we can see it is a pretty good fit widthways in here again there's the drive shafts kind of lined up and as I said this is our problem piece here so uh, it is pretty close but I mean even You've got the steering rack all in behind there. It's just this section here. So I need to have a bit of a think about what I'm going to do, uh, whether I persist with trying to go front wheel drive or whether I look rear wheel drive. But I prefer front. So I've just uh, tacked in a couple of braces onto the subframe to allow me to cut the middle of the subframe out. As you can see, that's been cut out, uh, exposing the drive shaft. Now we're we'll sort of just drive shaft, exposing the steering rack, and then if we come round to look at the drive shafts, we can see they're still about maybe eight centimeters, seven or eight centimeters. Um, 
too far forward. So the plan now, inspired by someone uh, who messaged me on, I think it was one of the Facebook groups I'm on, uh, I'm going to put the steering rack inside. Controversial. So you can just about see where the spot welds are. So we'll get them drilled out. So let's see if this is all worth it. Steering rack's gone. And there's the steering rack support. So now I want to put the subframe back in and then wheel the motor in and see how it lines up. Right then, so let's have a look. That front there, that's going to be clear. Obviously, subframe's going to have to be sorted out, but in terms of actual the front valance here, I don't think we'll have any issues with this piece but that's actually redundant at the moment so worst comes to worst I can chop that piece off because I've got here and here and then down there I can make a mount engine mount up onto those so that's all okay uh, I've got a nice a nice gap there so nothing's going to rub or get hit or anything like that. If we look that way, it's looking good. If we come down here, ish. Can't really get the camera in line. There we go. So drive shaft just through there, and then come around to this side. There you go. It's dropped down a little bit, but uh, that is looking spotty dog. So there's the steering rack kind of in place. Uh, so if we can just see down in there, the bolts aren't getting to the holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, spread these out a bit, reduce the angle. And then that will sit a little bit more flush. And then I can get the bolts through. And then that needs to raise up a bit. But it's kind of, uh, kind of in line with the holes. So I'll make sure that's all tickety-boo before we bolt it down uh, unless I get some uh, longer u-bolts that's right we can make it work I'm sure right so I'm just trying to modify this so that it sits nice and flat within the uh, inside of the car so on the right hand side you can see I've sort of flattened out that flange and then I just need to do the left hand side got to flatten that out a bit more Well, that's uh, welded in now. Don't worry about the size of the holes at the end. Don't worry. Uh, it's just that's the biggest drill I had with me today. But um, just wanted to get everything fixed in place, really. 
Uh, I've got a few suspension parts on order from Mini Spurs. So uh, once they come, I can get all of this sort of put together, get the wheel jacked up to kind of where it should be for normal operating procedures. And then we can have a look at what we're going to do here uh, to join the steering up. But you know, one step at a time. Well, I'm not sure what's going to be in the next episode, but until then, here's some cardboard mounts I'm making up for the motor.